Hello honeys. I'm here today to talk about MailChimp and how you can make a free landing page using MailChimp so that you don't have to pay for Instapage or ConvertKit or lead pages or any of that. Um, my name is Natasha Berta and I'm an online marketer with a twist and my twist is that my background is really in yoga and mindfulness and that affects the way I work. So I tend to end up working with people who get that experience of life and that kind of perspective on life where there's more going on. There's more going on than what it looks like. And um, yeah, if you want to know more about that, then you can stalk me out in other spots today. I'm just doing a tech tip. So I'm just about to share my screen and talk to you today about landing pages so oh, actually uh, that's all right so a landing page really is the process where you have something that you want someone to sign up to and you want it to look pretty so this is really just mailchimp specific but you could adapt it for pretty much any email marketing platform so in mailchimp you click on lists and then um we're going to go to the list. So say you've made a list like my one here. This is one of my opt-ins, the ebook, do all your social media posts in two hours a week. So if you have created a list and you want to make a landing page for that list that looks a bit sexier, you're in the right place. So you click on that list and then it pops up. Um, whether or not you have any subscribers kind of isn't the point. What we're looking at is over here, sign up forms. So when you click on sign up form, then I just choose general forms. That's more advanced stuff. The other options, we don't have to worry about that today. But um, what you normally get down here, I'll just look at a couple of things here quickly in case you haven't seen it before. This URL here, this ePearl, is if you want to mention your ebook or your video course or whatever your opt in is in a Facebook group or on your website or in an email, um, this is the link that you're going to use to send people to sign up to get this free thing. Um, also on Instagram. Um, so you can either use this or you can put this into Bitly and make a shorter and sexier and easier to remember URL. So that's one part of this page. This is the list and the sign up forms tab. And then I scroll down. Now this is what I've done for this particular, um, uh, what do you call it? ebook opt-in thing so there's a lot of bits that you can edit in here right there's the heading and there's this text box and then this is the form field you can't really edit this so much right this has got to be like that so you have a quite a bit of scope here so if you click yours will probably just say whatever you call the list so you can totally edit that <clears throat> and then it comes up in this pop-up and you can totally make it sexier you can choose a different font I actually love Courier Sans font. I'm just hung up on it. You can make it gigantic. You can make it center aligned. You can also go for gold here and insert images. Um, you can do anything you want here. You can type a whole body of text. And I'm going to just chuck something in just so that we can see how it would look. Um, if I did have more stuff, and I'm going to go back and obviously delete this out later. Um, so we could say a bunch of text here, a bunch of text about like, you know, are you sick of um, dot, 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 and are you ready to blah, 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 and this ebook will da, 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 oh my gosh, my typing's not great, but you get the picture, right? So you can put a bunch of stuff up the top. And it will look like this. There's some text. There's a picture. There's some more text. <laughs> Ebook. Um, you can put more pictures. You can totally, this is where you can be creative. And then you have more. You have another chunk here where you can go ahead and edit stuff in. And I did actually try to get that picture to be centered, but it doesn't want to do it. Um, yeah, you, this is your icon for adding an image. All of these functionality here, you can do a whole lot. You can put URL clicks over to look at other things. You can pretty much do what you want. There's a lot going on here. And that is basically all there is to it. I'm not going to go on because it will just get confusing and overwhelming. But you just edit it in this here, sign up forms. When you click it, you get sent to general forms, general forms, and then you just go for gold. Edit your heart out, put pretty pictures, do whatever you like. Make it look the way you want it to look. The only thing I would point out, um, 
I find with MailChimp, 550 is a fairly good width for images and things like that. The only thing that happens is when they display on mobile, they go further. So it is a bit of a dilemma, like what size images um, to use in MailChimp. So I will do another video talking about how to edit the size of images in MailChimp, just in case you don't know how to do that. It's super duper easy. Thanks for having me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you think you want to see more from me, then you can subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.